that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night end. third man in there for this one. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys gotta play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do fun. Uh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Big left hand lands upstairs. Early connection with the left from the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. They're doing that here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, nice. Up there. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Henderson. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Right back to the leg kicks. 
this a purpose. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh! Right hand landed. There you go. Oh, nice elbow. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been over. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, big left. What a fight. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past to trying to find that shot again. 90 seconds to go in the round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. And he hasn't missed a whole lot today. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab. Blocks the shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, Hua Zai appears to be closing up by the second. That's a big hook. DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told them that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round. Is oh! And back to his feet. Been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected it. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end at both types of strikes. Nice block. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mauricio Shogun Hula.
So there he is, folks, Mauricio Shogun Hua enjoying yet another seminal moment with his teammates. This man has been there, he has done that. And tonight, the former UFC champion puts it all together once again. Shogun Hua, your winner in a big way here tonight.